But I will say the, uh, the, the, the thing that I saw the most of, uh, the topic on which there were the most questions, uh, were, was fair elections and, and voting. Uh, so, um, just a lot of uh, concerns expressed broadly, but the, the basic question is, how do we get fair elections? Why isn't there more coverage of the threat of unfair elections and... Dun, dun, dun. What happens if they steal 2006 or if they steal 2008? What are what, what do we what do we do if that if that happens? Anybody feel like jumping in on that? Well, the bigger question is what happens when they steal 2006 because we know that it's already set up and I'm not and 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 that's even excluding the possibility of machines that could be hacked. We, we know that Ken Blackwell threw 300,000 people off the rolls in Ohio. They're not back on. We know that, you know, in 2002, uh, Jeb Bush signed a court order saying that he would put those people back on the rolls, that 100,000 more or less that he threw off the rolls in 2000. He still hasn't done it. it this is being done in, in, in states all across the United States. We know about Sproul and Associates. We know about these companies that were, that, you know, in Las Vegas, they actually caught them on videotape, Las Vegas TV station, where they were, you know, I mean, this is paid for by the Republican Party. They had people all over the United States, but primarily in the swing states, but all over the United States, setting up ca uh, card tables and things in front of libraries and government office buildings and shopping centers saying, you want to register to vote? You want to register to vote? And people would register to vote. If they checked the Democratic box, then they, they shredded them afterwards. They threw them away. And those people show up at the polls and say, I'm here to vote. Uh, your name's not on the list. We'll have to give you a provisional ballot. They vote. They think they voted on the provisional ballot. Later, they, when they count the provisional ballots, they say, where's this person that doesn't exist? And they throw it away. And people will come back election after election and, and be given provisional ballots and never vote. We, uh, you know, we know I mean, that, they, that they are already stealing votes. So, you know, I think that the, the lesson that we have to learn and the action that we have to take is, is grounded in what happened in, in Serbia and the Ukraine and Soviet Georgia and, 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 and all countries where the media was owned by the corrupt government that was rigging the elections, by the way, where the people got together and they, and, they, and they got the United Nations involved and they got exit polls that were fairly clean and fairly tight and they just absolutely raised holy hell election night before the officials had an opportunity to say, here's how the election went. And, and one of the main things that we need to be doing right now is getting the Democratic Party to take this seriously. To, 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 yeah. Yeah. This is the topic I hear the most, too, on my show. Is it, You know, it, it really is, is absolutely so infuriating, I think, to all of us. Because if they really think we're so out of the mainstream, and they try to make us feel like, oh, you see, this is why the left is so out of step with America, why are they always afraid to count the votes? In every, well, that's, that, in every scenario, it's the Republicans that want to stop the counting. Right. You know, in, in everything, that, in the, you're right, Tom, we're in this sort of catch-22. Because we're not in power, everything Democrats try to get passed, of course, the Republicans squelch. And yeah. you're like, if you think you're so right, well, what, why are you afraid of a fair election? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, what's interesting, too, is in the, like, in the Al Gore movie, right, The Inconvenient Truth. Anybody seen it? <laughs> one, one of the really good points that he makes is about how, on the issue of global warming, they've made it into a debate. When it's, it's not a debate. No. There's, global warming is happening, and there's a right-wing Exxon-funded campaign to make you think that maybe that's not true. But it's not, it's not a real debate between people who are seriously looking at the facts and people looking at the issue uh, in terms of what's happening in the real world. Same thing is happening around voting. They've created a fake debate around voting and voting security, where on the one hand, there's Democrats who are concerned about people being blocked from voting and the counting not happening and the machines possibly being tamperable. And on the other hand, on the, the equally valid point on the right is that Democrats are organizing massive voter fraud. <laughs> lots of progressives here, lots of activists in this room. Do you know anybody who has ever tried to fake register somebody to vote? Anybody you've ever heard of a scheme ever to try to get illegal aliens voting, right? You ever heard about anybody trying to get dead people registered? Anybody ever you approached you to register a dead person you know? Don't you think one of us, one of us commies in this room would have heard about it? 
there's the concerns about the sanctity of the voting process are being met on the right. And the more we make this into an issue, the more we'll hear about the fake argument against us on the right. And the GAO report that came out this week came out on Zarqawi Day, so they'd be sure that nobody would talk about it. Yeah. Presented it that way. They had a hugely hard-hitting report from the GAO on the state of our voting problems in 2005. And then this year they came out and they said, yeah, the Democrats were trying to register a lot of people. <laughs> And that's what was really screwy about the 2004 elections. We're going to hear more and more and more about that. We've got to have our answers for that ready now. I think. And they're going to be playing the Francine Busby out of context little clip over and over yeah. and over. And they're going to make it all. In, and, and the whole hysteria around illegal immigration is going to be slowly morphed and shifted over the next five months into not only are all those people here, but the Democrats are trying to get them registered. Yeah. Right? yeah. And, and it's. Therefore, I, we, I, need vote, we, need, we need to show ID at the polls.